Hi guys, welcome back to this new video. Today we'll talk about how to deploy an NVMe uh, gateway in our self storage cluster in order to provisioning an NVMe device or to a uh, virtual machine. Okay, so this is what we intend to do. So thank you again for those who support us. If by the end of this video or during this video, you, see, you feel to gather much more valuable information now, Please do not forget to subscribe and like our uh, video. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and uh, let's start it. So here we have on this uh, uh, cluster, self cluster, uh, okay, infrastructure on this particular version, okay. And uh, from there, we intend to deploy a new NVMe gateway, okay. So let's go on CLI mode. So here, here are the different nodes that we have within our cluster. Okay, so we have all those different nodes which are within our cluster. We intend to deploy the NVMe gateway on this particular node. Okay, so let's move on. The first thing to do, we have to create the pool, the NVMe pool, which will be have the different images uh, that we want to create uh, that we want to set uh, or link to our different uh, machine virtual machine okay so let's create a new the first first of all of the, the virtual the pool i have already prepared some command now uh, which comes from with my uh, documentation so let's create uh, a new pool and uh, it is a by default it is a replicated pool and uh, it, it will be an RBD uh, pool type. Okay. So let's create that, that and we will also create an image inside of this pool. the NVMe, NVMe pool, yeah. So we'll make this pool an RBD type pool. So now let's create a new image. This image will have a size of five gig. Okay, and the, yeah, let's call it uh, this image. Uh, we give a, I will intend to give to him. We can choose any name that we would like, but me, I will choose this particular name. Okay. And uh, from there, let's see the health of our cluster. It's still healthy. So let's proceed. The next step will be to deploy a new, a new NVMe gateway. So the command is this one. By applying a new NVMe gateway on this particular node. So let's list all the different services, self orchestrator, uh, LS. Okay. We will be able to list all services. As you can see, new service appear here just uh, this, time, this time ago on this particular node. Let's take the name of this gateway or the daemon that has been deployed. Okay, so this is the name of the, of the demon that has been deployed in our uh, NVMe gateway. So now let's move on. I will now I will connect on this particular node to proceed. From there, I can uh, let me uh, man ps to list all the different. Uh, the different uh, containers that we have right now, and we can observe this particular demon, okay, this particular uh, container that has been deployed, okay, early, just one minute ago. And the uh, next step, what we have to do is uh, to, I have to download uh, a a particular container which permit us to configure this gateway, okay, which will be the, the container name or uh, uh, 
NVMe of CLI, okay? Let's pull it. I will download all this container. And uh, next step, so I can start up the configuration of my environment. I have already prepared a bunch of commands there. The first command will be to configure, to create a new subsystem, name this, uh, who will have this name. And uh, the get to address so will be, uh, yeah, this IP address. And this IP address is the IP address of the gateway. Just remember you. Okay, it is the IP address of the gateway. Great. So let's proceed. Great, so the new subsystem has been created. Okay, this uh, subsystem has, create, has been created. Okay, let's move on. The next step will be to... Okay, link to the, the SAC system to our gateway, okay, which has been created. Let me have a right command because sometimes so it's it change. I have a right command and uh, yeah. Okay, the, the name more will be this name that has been picked before. Yeah, let me replace to have a correct name, the correct house name. Okay, great. And uh, let's update of the IP address uh, to have a good one. So from now, I have a new listener. Okay, on uh, on my uh, gateway linked to linked to our sub system created. So let's see. Let's a uh, last check before proceed. Great, the new listener has been created successfully. So now we have to get an information from the client. Okay, so let's go. We have to have for the, the identifier for the, our client, which we intend to have a new block device linked to him. So let's go on the client to retrieve the. At the moment, as you can see, okay, we don't have any block device uh, NVMe type right now, okay? And uh, we intend to have uh, the unique identifier for override of this client to connect to our cluster, okay? So to do to have, it, to have this, this information, I have to install, uh, let's install uh, the NVMe. Uh, and, uh, Okay, done. Uh, okay, I will let this one. Let's just uh, create a duplicate. I will connect on my. Uh... Okay, so let's go back on it rapidly in order to not disconnect and come back again. Okay, so I'm there. From there, let's uh, take first uh, this unique identifier for each node. So I will need it, okay, to for right on my node to be able to connect or to my uh, gateway. So let's prepare the command. The next command. It should be this one, this command. Okay, and I, I have just to update the IP address. Yeah, and uh, this unique identifier is supposed to be the same. But anyway, let's be uh, careful about that. Okay, great. So let's proceed. Okay, 
Great. Uh, oh my god. I should redo it on the gateway. On the gateway. Yeah, on the gateway. Great, successful. Okay. So now let's move on after create after after riser of our node to be able to connect to uh, the gateway. That procedure. We create a new namespace which will be linked linked up to the image that I didn't create before. Let's create a new namespace. What are you? I mean, this uh, namespace of uh, which should be linked up to the image that we created before. Okay, but before I can list all the different subsystems that has been created, I can list all the different subsystems that I have with my cluster. Okay, here is a subsystem system. So now let's uh, create a new namespace uh, which we uh, linked uh, to the image that has been created before. Okay, I have just to update all the ports. Yeah, I'm ready to proceed. Okay, operation. Uh, I have to be sure. Maybe I have some misspelling about uh, the, the image created. Let me take the, the right name of the image. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that will be an, an error on the. Yeah, okay. There is an error on the image name. Okay, great. So now I can proceed. Okay. Great. Okay. Now we are okay. We can move on. Mm, yeah. Okay. We can move on. We can also list all the different on the space that we have on our in our environment. We can list them. You should, you should have only one, okay? This one or for five gig. Now everything is okay. We can go back on the client side to proceed. Yeah. So let's go back on the client side. So now, so just remember on the client install, we have to install first of this package. Okay. And uh, after that, we will load over a kernel modular for the NVMe. This is what we, this is what we have to do. Okay. So once done that, let's. Uh, Connect to the new block device. So it is the, the IP is for the IP of the gateway. Okay, and let's see. Here we go. As you can see, the new block device has been successfully uh, linked to our kernel of this particular client. Okay, so we can use it. We can use it. I can also list our NVMe uh, list. We just will have a list of different block devices set up on our particular node. Okay. So from there, I can. Uh, what can I do else? Yeah, I can. Uh, I can format. Okay, make a file system on this particular device. Okay. From there, MKT, uh, MNT. Uh, I can NVMe uh, fold 
zero one is up to me. Okay. Now I can mount it. This uh, new device out to the mounting point created. Okay, I can see it here. The mounting point is there. Yeah. And on it, on uh, within it, I can uh, create some. It's up to me. Okay. I do whatever I want to do within this within the file. So grits, this is an excellent uh, information. So thank you very much. I hope that you really appreciate it. This is how you can uh, you can set up a new NVMe gateway and you know, not provisioning a new blog, NVMe block device typo in your environment. Okay, so this is uh, an amazing thing so that you can proceed uh, and succeed uh, with self storage cluster. So thank you very much, uh, and I hope that you really appreciate it. And uh, do not uh, forget, please, uh, to like, uh, share, and uh, yeah, subscribe to our channel also. This thing has to grow the channel. Okay. Thank you very much. And talk to you later. If you want to disconnect all the device, is also uh, easy. NVMe. Um, okay. It will disconnect all the device. But uh, uh, normally, you don't have to do that because it's already mounted. But anyway. Okay, so thank you very much uh, and uh, talk to you later and uh, take care. Bye from now.